this this elevate this area with all of the levy all of the uh, what oh, it looks like developed area which is all really farmland uh, and pastures uh, is right along Bayou Lafouche and this is Bayou Lafouche here remember Bayou Lafouche was the uh, main course of the Mississippi River about between 1,000 and 2,000 years ago. Then we get a little further south. Uh, what you're going to, you're not going to see, in fact, all the way down past Golden Meadow, and then what we're going to see are salt marshes on either side of Isle of Fouche. And where we're heading is Grand Isle, right here. <laughs> so that's our, our destination. And after we to uh, look at the maritime forest on Grand, ha on Grand Isle on the beach, then we'll head back to Fushan Beach, which is this area here. And we'll look at the beach vegetation and the mangroves and salt marsh there. Uh, so just keep in mind that we're going to be traveling much of the way along the old natural levee ridge, and uh, and just think about the geology and soils of uh, of that kind of uh, habitat. And that's what happened with Bayou Lafouche. And if you remember the photograph, or the uh, map we looked at this morning, that big poster, you can see how on either side of Bayou Lafouche are the sugarcane, sugarcane fields like you have here. And then the trees you see way off to the left, that's starting the Vineland uh, Hardwood Forest. And then beyond that, the Cypress Swamp really close. Piled it back up, and there were over. I can see, you know, unvegetated sand throughout this area. So there's probably over. I'm sure right across the island. You see the sand in the ditches, etc. This is not what it looked like prior to this stuff. On the, uh... So we're on Grand Isle and we're in uh, a remnant of what was an extensive maritime forest. Uh, in the mid-1800s, most of this island was covered by maritime forest, but uh, it's been used, the island, for grazing of cattle uh, and for some farming. And therefore, they started clearing the maritime forest, the people living on the island. And so right now, there are only these small remnants. And luckily, the Nature Conservancy uh, has uh, bought these remnants so that they can per be preserved. And an oak tree like this live oak, which uh, dominates the uh, maritime forest throughout the southeastern United States, is, uh, uh, is the basically the climax species here. It's the mature, dominant plant species within maritime forests, whether you were in Georgia or here in Louisiana. And there are some old specimens. And through here, we also saw the little sapling, uh, uh, Ilex vomitoria, which is yopon. And that's, again, ubiquitous within maritime forests throughout the southeastern part of the U.S. And there should be, through here, the sugar uh, berry, or something called hackberry, uh, Celtis levigata. Right now we're looking at this uh, introduced species, lantana, which is common throughout the southeast and many different kinds of habitats, but it's one to, to know as, as well. The trees that, can, that grow here, or at least that dominate here, can withstand some degree of salt spray, like the live oaks, like the yopon. And if we were in a shrub thicket zone, uh, closer to the Gulf of Mexico or to the source of salt spray, you see a tremendous amount of yopon. Also, usually there are a lot of vines through this type of habitat, a lot of poison ivy. Uh, we saw some Virginia creeper earlier, but poison ivy, uh, 
and other vines are very, very common. So we'll continue to walk through here. See what we can See it. it's not as much. We have having a shrimp pool boy with no tobacco sauce. <laughs> 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 they put a lot. Honey is having ham and cheese. Ham <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> and um, I'm what having, having? Nope. cut pink. Ooh, that looks good. good. You so got the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Coconuts. Oh, 